Aunt Margie's camp, and as you can see, time brings about some changes. Ah, oh, that shed over there wasn't there, but this was the well house. And I'll get a little closer. Two stories. Big driveway. Down here. And out. And that would be where the they called it the cracker box was. And then maybe over there is where the cracker box was. There's a little place over there. So up here, this was that room that where everybody sat and congregated. The pump where we got our water. And here's another view. That should be the end of the garage, but instead there's this big addition. Here comes Dennis for prowling. View out that back window. Just a hill down to the Powwow River that we're looking out at. This is that bedroom upstairs. That would be the window right behind the single bed and on the other side was a double bed. This uh, was where the boathouse was. It was the first place we usually came to. And I think this shed might have been here. The beach where we swam is further on down. Where we swam and I guess that's the White House. right in there <laughs> and over there are some of the other cottages that used to be a little there used to be a little store over there I thought Clark Webster came out to see why we were there we had disobeyed no trespassing signs as we'd driven into the cottage. He inherited all the land and cottages in Webster's Grove, and he now lives in what was the Johnson Hotel. That was the Red Hotel on the right as you went up the hill. He was born in 1944 and remembered Margie Callahan. He has become the local historian. We met him, he remembers my great aunt Margie, and he's been able to tell us some of the history of the Grove more than I ever knew. And this was the beach that we came and swam at. And it's called Webster's Grove, this whole area where we've been. The cracker box burned down in the fire, and there's no longer a road to the point. And Dennis is in the van listening to us. <laughs> in the powwow, and I learned that Aunt Margie's camp was formerly known as the Gideon Lodge. It was the camp she rented. And there's a beaver dam down here. And behind us was the, there's Clark. Behind us was the Johnson Hotel. I always thought the entrance was on the other side. Well, I, I could see it. Yeah. But that really was meant to face the powwow. And now the powwow has conservancy land on either side. This is the house that was next to the beach, and I'm sure it's been here all along. I think so. And across the way was this little building. Now I'm walking on to the bridge. So this is the bridge that separates Webster's Grove from Marku Grove. Marku Grove is over there. Country Pond and the Point and then on this side the lily pads have not grown as much as they will in the next month or so because this is the Powwow River 
and it's a lot wider than <laughs> I ever remember it being. This is 13 6th Avenue, which I described to Joan, and she thinks, um, well, this is the second house they lived in, and this might be the one that I remember. This is the house next door. Now there's a big hedge between the two properties. I always remember there was a woman sunning herself in the yard next door to the right and you can see that there's a path that reads, leads around to the back door that I thought uh, went into the kitchen. This is our humble abode at Beach Rose RV Park in Salisbury, Maryland, and uh, Maine. no, Salisbury, Massachusetts. Yeah. <laughs> well, Sal give it, give Sal the M. Salisbury Beach, Massachusetts. Both right. well, I had us in Maryland. There's a Salisbury, and um, I'm just going to go take a picture of this sign, and then we're going to head on down to Falmouth, Cape Cod, and the Gettysburg Music Festival.